Hi everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher. It is September 17, 2017, and I am on a German web camera. This is an I am in America, and this web camera is in Germany. And anybody wants to say what I'm about to show you, I want to call it Photoshop. That's really weird because this is a web camera. And you could just go to the web camera. I'll leave a link in the description and you can try and Photoshop it yourself. So I got nothing better to do. Besides, if even if you think it's Photoshopped, take a desktop picture of it, whatever you want to do, submit it to forensicphoto.com and you will see that these are not Photoshopped. Just check it out. So in this camera, I believe we are looking at, let me click on the picture and look at the description, www.sports.com. Okay, so this is their photo that they upload after the camera takes a picture on a secure server. So I dare anybody to go into this server and Photoshop that. Okay, I, really Photoshops and smudges and spiders. Well, let's just destroy every one of those arguments. First of all, it just doesn't look like a spider, but hey, I just think it's funny. It only has two legs, and we do we need to go into the spider thing? <laughs> well, let's just go on. Let's watch this thing move in the sky at the same time we see this object in other cameras. And I got something better for you, too, because I've got this same similar objects on Australian cameras which take more consistent pictures more often. So it's gonna be like catching this on video. Now does that look like a spider? It's in the clouds. Is it something on the lens? No, because it moves around. Look, it moved. It's not on the lens. So if it's something on the lens, it didn't move. Is it Photoshopped? Well, you go to the web camera. I'll leave a link description. You go in there. A million dollar Photoshop challenge. Go ahead. Go in there and try and Photoshop. Go in the description bar, click on the link, and Photoshop it yourself. All these images. Let's run the time lapse. In the main, I would have to Photoshop every single one of these, by the way. Right? Every single one of these, I'd have to go and crop the picture. And we also got the picture on this camera here. Might I note that this camera is in the west direction. And I also noticed the time that this was taken was. So the direction of this object was facing the west, west direction. And you can see that it was the 17th September, the 17th, 7.30, you can see the different images here as this thing moves across the screen. Now you, some of you just can't resist saying it's a spider. Ha ha, that's just so funny. I just don't see any spider legs. Please, go look at cameras that actually has a spider on it. Matter of fact, go get your own camera, put a spider on it, take a picture, and see if it looks like this thing. All eight legs, all up in the camera, high detail with clouds kind of morphing in it. <laughs> yeah, I'll photoshopped on this web camera. Can't believe people still want to say it's photoshopped. This, I can't hack into this. I'm in America. I don't know how. I don't know the codes. You go in and try and hack this thing. Unbelievable. Look at this shadow here too that matches this. You see this shadow here. And you don't think that's compelling enough. Well, let's move on to another camera. So here we have clearly another spotted object that has no spider legs. Yeah, and you can see stars through it. What is that? That's because there's lenses. The government, JPL, has been working on it since 1983 to hide this system from us. Isn't that funny? 1983. 
Uh, yeah, I got some news articles I want to read for you. But let me finish showing you this. And you can see this appears and it disappears. Just for a very short time. And then I got something for you on this one too. I hope I don't forget to tell you about Planet X Discovery and a 1983 Washington Post. Planet X Discovery, 1983, by NASA, spotted in the Orion Telescope, in Orion Constellation. I want you to keep your eyes right here, okay? So I've got a video for that. But you know what? Before I show you that I videotaped this time-lapse camera, and here we can see the infrared camera, pulling it out with the lens array in space, pulling it out of focus. We never really get a nice, clear image of these planets. However, it's this uh, technology they have that's hiding this system from us. Look at this thing grow and change in size. But I've got this on video. So let's run the time lapse for a few more minutes, uh, seconds. Now, here is a treat for you. Now, I've been on this site for a long time and I have never seen this before. Now, here, let's see, we go to the current view. This is in Australia. Let's go to the webcam wall. Again, no Photoshopping here, folks. We click on this image. We can still see it in the thumbnail, this moving planet. Yeah. I think they're moons, actually, one of the moons, because of its the way that they're all clustered together in here. Wow. So it couldn't be a smudge on the lens because it's moving around, you know, if it's on the lens. Right? And look, it's like it's even casting a shadow on the runway here, or the airport, the pavement. Three of them. Round. They all kind of, I believe, are the three of the seven moons connected to Planet X. Trying close. I've never before seen all three in the same camera. Must be getting pretty close. If we're seeing three of them in a single frame, Wow. Let's just watch the time lapse one more time from the beginning. You can see this is the southwest. West, right? Just like those other cameras we're looking. You see a lot of action from the southwest. It suddenly pops up. You know what? This is sped up. This is not the actual camera. We need to see this in the real time. See what this actually would look like to the naked eye. Just... Cast your eyes upon that. Now these people walk around here. The sun's pretty bright and the shadows are so faint. We didn't really quite see this with the naked eye unless you just kind of stopped. But people are too busy doing what they're doing to notice anything abnormal. Go grab your phone. Cameras have more sensitive sensors on them than our human eyes. And they can even pick up the neuroinfrared spectrum. Yeah, I have never seen that before. I'm always looking at this. This, to me, is fantastic. Because look at the bottom time lapse here. It's minute by minute. Unlike AddictedSports.com, who takes theirs every 10, 15 minutes, or every half an hour. So we don't really get that animation like we're seeing in this picture. So, and here again, let's watch it one more time. As it comes in about 12 o'clock. And these first two planets snap into place. I believe they're in a highly eccentric orbit. Look how they even change in darkness. And I believe like they're reacting with one another because of the magnetic pull they have upon one another. And then a third one snaps into play. I don't believe the shadow. I think these are being casted on here. Because this is the same position the sky, the sun hasn't moved. These are three separate shadows. Well, now there's one. There was two. So I don't think this is a reflection of this one. I think these are casted like almost like a hologram. Again, because of the lens array. 
Now I'm really going to take my time with this one because this is just too awesome to just pass up. Just to rip that really soak in. Okay, so with that, some of you would wonder what the lens array was, but they're ultra thin lenses in outer space from the same cameras that you just saw. I've noticed when I first saw this time lapse video that these lenses are pulling this out of focus that we see here with the sun simulator behind it. Now, there still is a real sun. This is to keep us from freaking out when one of these objects actually eclipses the sun. We got to still see something still shining in the sky. I left the demonstration in my earlier videos. Please go back and watch those. If you've got questions, I've made videos about it. Just go back and watch it. Here are some more spectacular lenses that we've seen. And <laughs> this is not, these were submitted photos from users. Even the animations of this. I've made videos on this too. Go back and watch all these videos. They're pretty amazing of the lens array that we can see them converging light, diverging light from your eyes. You can't see it. Just amazing. Look at that. These are real pictures. It's got animations of it. Um, I, let's move on. So I've got animation videos of this same event. So, so I took the time. Let me show you this. Now I want you to keep your eyes. We might watch my cursor right here. Now we'd already watched the time lapse video from the time lapse. So I did it so I can show you something pretty impressive. Now this circular light that we saw in the purview, by putting it in movie form, I can scroll back and forth and we could watch what you people want to call the smudge on the lens actually move around again so there blows the smudge theory these are web cameras in Australia and Germany and Europe and I live over here so I will leave links in the description please go in there and try and Photoshop it so I want to show you something though watch the diameter of this thing change as I go back and forth kind of have to look through the clouds Now, someone would say, Jeff, if the planets were that close, would you have tidal activities? Oh, like we did with Hurricane Irma? Oh, no, that was caused by the Hurricane Irma. Mm hmm. Right. Didn't we have a Category 5 come through called Andrew and it didn't do that? Yeah. I'm starting to think these hurricanes have been manufactured to hide these tides and blame them on that. Now, I want you to show you right here the diameter of this shadow. Look at that. Let's check how big this thing gets. And look how at the same position it turns white because it was spotted in there infrared. If you look very carefully, you can still see the large round shadow. It's pretty faint. The, the difference of light is it's very faint, but it's still there. And I also made a video explaining why they appear still in the sky. Go back in my video archives. There's a video animation. I try to explain it the best I can. It's a complicated orbital, you know, wrap your brain around it. I hope give you kind of give a clue of, of why that's working. Look at that thing change in size. See that? Look at that. That. A smudge that grows size and changes colors and moves around. Yeah, Photoshop. Oh my gosh. Can't believe how many people want to keep saying that. It's unreal. I, it just got to be trolls, right? You can't be honest observers or anyone wants to really know the truth. So, uh, let's see, I had another animation. Oh, it's the same one. So let me show you some ancient news articles that leaked out. They talked all about it back in 1983. The return of Planet X. Mankind's ongoing. Jason O. Rand, Ph.D. How about this? Heavenly body of mystery. Washington Post. A heavenly body as large as the planet Jupiter, possibly so close to Earth, could be part of this solar system. Where was it found? The constellation Orion. Yeah. That's why I said it was from the very beginning. 
That's why they have the pyramids of Egypt. That's one of the reasons. Mystery object. Now check this out. Shrouded in dust. Known it, it casts lights by the stars it's through. I can tell you that we don't know what it is. German Nogbeier, IRS chief a scientist for Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Gee, the same people that brought you those ultra-thin lenses I showed you in one of my videos. Huh. The most fascinating explanation. When did they launch the... Now look at the dates here. This was... Uh, 50... Uh, I'll leave out the details. But uh, you can search this stuff on the internet. I'm going to show you that this was discovered when they launched the IRS telescope, spotted it, and where did they find it? In 1983 in the Orion Belt, the Orion Constellation. Yeah, there's some disinfo agents out there. Oh, it's from Sagittarius. Man, we all got to get on the same page with it. I, you know, it's not that critical, but, you know, seems to back it up. They talked all about it, though. 1983. So when did they make this? Look at this. The Calgary Heald, Herald, <laughs> February, December 30th, 1983. Heavenly body was discovered. Well, guess what else? Remember that date, December 30th, 1983. Let's see if we can get to. Ah, the Cold War Museum. Strategic Defense Initiative. Hmm. Gee, they discovered it and December 30th? Well, and a few months later, Ronald Reagan comes out with the Strategic, strategic Defense Initiative. And also notice Star Wars. First program this on March 23rd, 1983. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened to that, the strategic defense initiative? Yeah, yeah. Well, we got all kinds of stuff to mask this incoming system is what we did. The Russians weren't a threat. Well, they are now. It's more like Korea. Well, we got a greater threat than that. That's, uh, remember that? You find that's a coincidence? Just three months later after they discovered Planet X, they came up with a plan to cover this whole thing up. We need billions of dollars to fund this incoming system. Nothing really came of it, by the way. What strategic Star Wars system did we really get out of that? I mean, we already had missiles. We were supposed to shoot missiles out of the sky. Why are we so worried about Korea if we had this system going now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Let me see if I can uh, go back to show you these time lapse again. No, not that one. Excuse me. Um, where are we at? Ah, this one. So, I think this is pretty neat. Now we see the three objects. Now, I have never seen this before on this camera. And it appears at the roughly 12 o'clock mark. And we can see, we'll just run that. Oh, this is... Uh, not real time. This is sped up. This is not the actual speed of these planets. And look how they move independently of each other, appearing to be somewhat connected, reacting with each other like magnets bouncing off one another. I believe to be connected with by plasma of the planet Nemesis because there's so many. There's the little small the moons. We can see another one up here coming into view. Look at that. And then they all disappear. What do you think that could ever be? Rather than what I said it was. Go back and watch my other videos. How the system is being hiding, hidden from us. It'll answer most of your questions. I um, just don't have time to answer the same question over and over. And redo the same video. So I have made videos. Why they stay still in space. Just go back in my archives please. And go check out the links in the description box. And look for these pictures yourself. They are there. These are hard to find. Sometimes they like to delete these. But the uh, 
AddictedSports.com, they usually keep them in the archives for a long time, but they will remove them sometimes if it's too compelling, if you don't catch it fast enough. So please copy, like, and share this video. We'll see you at the Lord's Supper real soon. Thanks for watching.